Hello everyone, in today's video there is a whole bunch of exciting accessories that I have here that I want to cover, show you all how to install it in the Jetson Bolt Pro. This is the $299 or 329 now at Costco. This is the folding electric bike from Jetson. Just to sum up from the last video I covered, uh, on the accessory video I covered the water bottle holder here, I covered the rear rack and then the bag i also told you about some of the locks and the helmet and i just want to continue that conversation and show you all this super exciting accessories that i have today so what i'm going to do is i'm going to install this show you how to install it on your bike and then i'm going to take it on a ride and then ride for a while and let you know my true honest feedback on if i would recommend these accessories or not just make sure that you are subscribed to the channel, you turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of my videos and you know, give this video a thumbs up as well as share my videos with your friends and families. That really helps out with YouTube algorithm as well as reaching the maximum amount of audience that I can reach around the world. I really, really, really appreciate your support. Please keep asking those questions. Please keep giving me feedback on the comment section. I enjoy reading those and I enjoy helping you own this bike and make your bike better. First of all, we have got the second battery and to connect the second battery, I have extended the cables and I have a lot of videos on how to do this, the review of the second battery. So go check that video out. I'm going to put a link down below as well as up here. So you know how I connected the second battery and where to get the second battery to basically double the range that you have in your bike. So next thing you guys have asked a lot is for a cell phone holder. And I found this in Amazon with pretty good review. How this works is here's this tab right here where it'll go and slide in here. So it'll just slide in here and then you can just pull this a little bit to take this out. But let's first install this. And instead of doing it on the right side, I'm gonna do it on the left side because my phone is kind of big and I, I wanna make sure I have enough room here in the throttle. Um, I kind of move this bell towards the, the side so that I can fit this perfectly. And how you install this is you take this out, you take out this zip tie looking thing, just push this here, and I'm gonna have this facing this way for now. And all you gotta do is fetch this through this hole right here. And what you do is put this in and start tightening it. Now this is pretty tight. Just gonna take this, have this here, and push it in. And here you go. There's your phone holder. Now you can tighten this even further. And a really good thing about this is you can rotate it. So horizontal or vertical, and it's super easy. And how you do put the, your phone in this one is you just push this two ends and push it all the way till it clicks so that you can expand it for whatever size phone that you have. And what you gotta do is when you push this, it snaps it in place. But instead of pushing it, like you can do it with your finger and it just snaps in place. Or you just place your phone. So if I place my phone and just press it a little bit, it, it fits in place. And now it is secure and it's good to go. So you can rotate it this side, this side, or any sides really. And it is secure and fits perfectly. To take your phone out, it's the same deal, just push on the side tabs here and then it comes right out. All right, now I have this volcanic eye lights next and they are pretty neat. They have a micro USB charging right here so you don't have to worry about battery and they also send you the USB charging cord with it and there's two of them. So to install this light, what we're gonna do is put this, make sure this tab is facing up and all you gotta do is just secure it in place like this and what we're gonna do is just put this, you are gonna have to push this tab just a little bit and then slide this in and there, it snaps in place and you can kinda adjust it like however, whatever direction you wanna face and 
there you go. You can cycle between different flashes and lights and we'll show you in the dark how this looks. So next we're gonna install this LED light that are for the wheel here and I'm not sure how this is gonna work. This is from a company called Active Lights. Um, as they say, as seen on TV, ABC, NBC, whatever you have seen them. These are pretty cool lights. Uh, I've used them for a regular full-size bikes in the past, but I'm not sure with this. So I'm just gonna try to install it in the front, not in the back tires because uh, there is brakes and uh, the chain that might get on the way. So, and then the motor, of course. So let me just install it here in the front and then see how they work. I'm not even sure if it would work in the front, but let's give this a try. And they send this light, of course, um, they send you the batteries for the, the light. They send you some tabs with the packaging. And I opened this earlier and how the battery works is it just has this holes where you just put the battery. Uh, it takes three batteries for, for each of these lights and you just put it back on. And let's try to install it. As I said, I'm not sure if it is gonna really work. Only this little LEDs that are out there that are gonna light up. So we're gonna probably try to wrap this around a couple of times. So there you go. So to install this, all you have to do is get this from one side, start from the bottom on this case, and then we just go around and put this right here. So this is not gonna come up because this rubber is pretty strong and tight. And now all you gotta do is to start routing this LED cable all around the wheel. All right, so this is a quick installation, quick and dirty installation because you can be really creative with this and all you gotta do is press this button right here on top. And there you go, that looks pretty cool. And you can press it again and it becomes a steady light. You can get different colors. You can get just blue, just white, uh, red, I believe. Uh, so you have different options if you wanna do that. I just got mine as a multicolor. This next accessory is super cool. Uh, it is a turn signal slash laser slash light. It, it acts like a multiple things. It is rechargeable. I mean, I was super stoked when I found this out. So let me install and then show you what it looks like. So for this next accessory, we're gonna install this light right about here. So that is visible from the back. And we're just gonna put it with this loop. Now, all you gotta do is to slide it in right here. You, you push this a little bit and then slide it in. So how this works is there's a button on the side that you can push to turn it on or you get your own remote that we're gonna mount it in the front in the handlebar where if we just press on this hazard sign right here and hold for a little bit, the light turns on. So that is the, that is, you can leave that as, as that light if you want, or what you can do is if you press on this hazard sign again, it, it blinks. And then if you press it again, it goes through a different cycle and then it's back to that steady line. Another really cool thing about this is it has got a turn signal. So this one is your right, and then this one is a left turn signal. And all you gotta do is if you press on the right here, it goes towards the right. So this, the right indicator is blinking, and then it is, is this light is showing you that it's the right. And then if you press on this left one, it's the same thing, the left indicator is blinking, and then the light strobe is going towards the left to indicate people that you are about to make a left turn. If you press on this laser right here, a laser flashing sign turns on 
And well, the purpose of that is to let other you know, drivers or riders know that you are encroaching on my space. So basically, you'll stay here, and because of this uh, bag, it's blocking the laser for here, but you can see it in the back. So let me show you that. So there's your laser lines, and unfortunately, because of this bag, it kind of blocks it a little bit so that you don't see the full right here. So I had to adjust it. Um, I'm not sure how the lasers will work perfectly with the bag here, but if you press the laser again, it goes into flashing. So it's flashing while you're riding, and we'll show you in our side while we're riding how this works, but it's pretty cool. To install this remote for the light, you just take this silicon rubber tab and then just put it right here in the bottom and then just pass it through here and put it right here. And I would put it kind of close to here in case we want to put another accessory right here. This is getting pretty full. <laughs> but yeah, now you can just use right this remote to control that light in the back. So next we're going to install this bar and bike mirror from Hafne and I got two of them. One is an actual glass mirror and the other one is a stainless steel mirror that is unbreakable. So this one, let me show you right here. So this is the stainless steel one. You can't break this mirror and you just peel this and you start working. This one is an actual mirror so this one is like a regular mirror this will break but this should be very sturdy and strong as well we're gonna want to put this here but since this hole is very small and this does not come out we're gonna want to cut uh, make a bigger hole here here's the mirror and uh, the assembly how it works it comes with the different parts and both of these are exactly the same here is your screw and there is the bolt right here the nut in there and how this works is we just put this here, uh, align this extender, and then put this one here, and then secure the nut from our side. And what it does is once we put this in, and as you are tightening the nuts, it becomes bigger. So once it becomes bigger, it expands, so it's not gonna come out. The goal is to extend this while it is inside. So we gotta make a hole big enough for this whole assembly to fit right here. So I'm going to just drill a hole and then I might have to cut it with the utility knife. All right, so you just got to put this in now and take a five millimeter Allen wrench and start tightening this. Once secured, this is pretty tight. And now you have got yourself a mirror right here on the handlebar. So it is not taking off a space over here and you can just adjust this however you want. I will put a link for all of these products in the description below, so check that out. Uh, this light, I really, really like it. That goes in the back. It has that laser thingy, uh, the turn signal, and everything is great. Just a rule of caution, uh, it has pretty sharp edges here. So if you're trying to take in, take this out from the, the back of the seat, just be careful. I just cut myself here a little bit, so just wanted to share that with you all. Um, the, the edges are really sharp. so be careful when you're taking this out uh, are the people in the back gonna know when i turn this thing to the right um, or left uh, i'm not sure if they would totally know what i'm doing here because this is not a very common device so i'm not sure people would totally figure out that i'm trying to make a left or right um, that might take some getting used to and maybe people will i don't know one thing i did learn is that this remote right here so if i press uh, saying I'm gonna go towards the, the left here. As you see, there is a little blinking light on the left indicator. And then if I press right, 
it has that blinking light on the right indicator. So at least you would know in the front that, okay, my, my right indicator light is on, exactly like in the car. So that might be the solution. Uh, I think the light is pretty cool. I would highly recommend it. Uh, if you want to accessorize your bike and make it cool looking, um, how useful is it? I think for lighting purposes, it is pretty useful. The, the turn signal, I think is pretty useful. Again, as I said, I'm not sure if people would really know that this is what it is because it's not a very common device. But do I recommend it? Yes, I recommend it. It was easy to install. Uh, it is rechargeable, comes with a remote, uh, all under 30 bucks. So I highly recommend this lights they were super easy to install super bright in the dark i really like it and they're very easy to just work you know so you just press on here three times and then they turn off um, it can stay steady bright red i really really like uh, both of this uh, i think i think these are pretty cool lights to give you more visibility while riding at night these are really nice they look really cool while i'm riding it um, I'm not sure how to install it in the back because of all the motor and everything. So I'll figure it out because they do come in a pack of two. So if you want to install it in the back, I'll figure it out and I'll let you know through a next video on how to get that to work. But this one I think uh, is pretty cool. It, it makes you visible and I didn't hear any rattling noise or anything while I was riding. And this thing, the plug is pretty secure still. So I think what I did will work for you if you follow the same. Side mirrors, and as I said, this is getting pretty crowded here, so I wanted to install this on the side. I was looking for exactly the same set of mirrors. If you choose to, you can also have one that probably can just strap here and then give you a, a side view here if you don't want to make a hole, but making that hole wasn't that bad at all. You, I just uh, did a pilot hole and then I just used a utility knife to kind of cut it around and now it's so strong, it's secure, it did not vibrate while I was riding and this mirror actually was, uh, you know, it's a safety item. It really showed me when the cars were coming in the, from the back. So I actually really uh, think these are very helpful and I think this is a must for this bike. Um, both of the mirrors, I put on the other one, I took this out, I put on the other glass one and both of these mirrors did a fantastic job. So I highly recommend the mirrors, the Hafni mirrors from Amazon. I'm gonna put a link below. I like how adjustable this is so that I can put it up here, down here. Uh, it, it works for all heights. So if your height is a little bit shorter, you might wanna put it down here. So this is, this is pretty helpful, I like it. Next, this was very, very good. The, the phone mount was very sturdy and secure. Uh, I like how, how easy it is to turn this around. All I have to do is loosen the bolt here and then turn it around. And I really like how easy it is to just snap my phone in place and it just locks and is secure. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to adjust it. I don't have to twist it. There is no screws and this is so strong. And this is an iPhone 12 Pro Max and it was very sturdy. While I was riding, I didn't feel scared that this phone was gonna fall because some of the other mounts that I have seen in Amazon, I'm a little scared that the phone might fall, especially being a heavy phone. And I also really like how I can make it horizontal. And this, this way I can have some of the information like a speed, I can have a navigation on my phone, uh, and it's, it's a really, really awesome tool. I, I really like it. Not just the big phones like this one, the 12 Pro Max, it also fits a small phone. This phone right here that I have is an iPhone 8. And the same deal, I just put it on and it snaps in place and it is all good to go. It's secure, look at that, it doesn't even move. So big phone, small phone, this is pretty versatile. So I think you're really gonna enjoy it. Let me know what you think about all of these accessories, the lighting upgrades. Uh, I, I want to genuinely know your thoughts and if you would get these lights. Uh, if you wouldn't, let me know in the comment section why you don't like any of these products. Or if you have questions about this product, how to install, how do I like it, how to turn it on, just let me know. Drop anything in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer your questions. Don't forget to watch the rest of my videos on Jetson Bolt Pro. I'll put a playlist down below with all of my videos. I have a whole bunch of videos on these bikes, answering all kinds of questions and doing battery upgrades and other modification. 
I also have many other modifications planned for the future, including a controller upgrade that I'm looking at right now and, and other upgrades uh, that will come in the future. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that video in the future or any other videos in the future. As I said in the beginning, my channel will only keep growing with your continuous support. Together, we can take this channel to the next level. So please continue sharing my videos, watch my videos, ask me any questions and support my channel. I really, really appreciate your time. I'll see you in the next video about the Jets and Bolt Pro. So stay tuned for many more videos. Thank you very much for your time. Namaste.